Well, we're here today to talk about the Firefly app for the iPad. And like most apps, the way we find it is to go to the App Store, which I'm going to do now. So I just select the App Store button from my toolbar. What I need to do is to actually go and search. So I'm going to go into my search window and start typing in Firefly. And as soon as I hit K, it comes up Firefly K3000, select that. It brings us to the, uh, the list of apps that are available. Let's go and take a look to see what it has to say. And so this is the screen that people will come to to learn about this application. In my case, it's already installed, so it says installed. Ordinarily, it would say it's free. No cost to someone who is a, an, a subscriber to the web license version of Kurzweil. Once installed, I'm going to exit from here. The app icon is installed on the screen. And to run it, it's as simple as one press. And it brings us to the login screen. Now, I've already entered my information. I go ahead and click Login. And you'll see it actually comes up with a list of names of other people. In this case, uh, there are two teachers here besides myself. Uh, I'm going to actually go into the Sample Documents folder just to show you some information that we've already made available in the cloud. And select a file. The file opens. And like any uh, app or most apps on the, uh, on the iPad, making things bigger or smaller is as simple as pinching or stretching the text to make it the size that we want. And once it's positioned, I get everything ready. I simply click where I want to start reading. And then I'm just going to move to the Read button. And off it goes. First, we know that we can find information on the web fast. Do you use the web for reports? Think about this. Before the internet, where would you get information? You would have used many books. I'm going to stop the speech and go to the options. And in the options, this is where we can come in and change the reading voice. So we have uh, some different uh, English speaking voices. Um, Bridget actually is a, a UK English voice, and then we have Violetta, which is Spanish. So if the school district has any Spanish text, they can they can open it and read it with the Spanish voice. And put it on to Paul. We can change the amount of text that is highlighted with the uh, the selections here. So if I was to go to line as opposed to a sentence, it's only going to highlight one line at a time. First. We know that we can find information on. And I'll pause that there. So in addition to being able to choose the, the amount of text to be highlighted, within the options window, we also have the ability to change the, uh, the reading speed, the pace. So we can make it slower or faster to suit the, uh, the preference of the reader. And once they're ready, come back to the document, start reading. Excuse me, was that too far? The web fast. Do you use the web for reports? Think about this. Before the internet, where would you get information? You would have used I'll many books. Right you would have spent. And that really kind of concludes the the overview of this app.